the Ponce de Leon Inlet, originally named Mosquito Inlet by 17th century Spanish explorers, is a natural opening in the barrier islands in central Florida. The inlet connects the north end of the Mosquito Lagoon and the south end of the Halifax River to the Atlantic Ocean. Renamed by the Florida Legislature in 1928, Ponce de Leon Inlet is three miles north of New Smyrna Beach and 12 miles south of Daytona Beach and accessible from the intercoastal waterway. The inlet's primary landmark is the iconic 175-foot Ponce de Leon Inlet Light Station, constructed in 1883, the oldest and tallest lighthouse in Florida, now part of a state park. Visitors can scale the 203 steps for one-of-a-kind photo opportunities and breathtaking scenery. Despite extensive reclamation, dredging, and seawall reconstruction, the Ponce de Leon Inlet remains in constant change due to shoaling and shifting sandbars. Navigational aids are frequently relocated in response to constantly changing depths and conditions, and therefore not charted. To access the inlet from the north, where the Intracoastal Waterway and Halifax River are merged, bear to port at the Ponce de Leon Cut Green Light 1, and then keep Cut Green Buoy 3 to starboard. Pay attention to no wake zones as you proceed. Consider your start point to be lat long 29 degrees 9.9 .9 minutes north and 80 degrees 58.5 minutes west. Continue southeast, keeping Inlet Harbor Green Buoy 1 to port and Inlet Harbor Red Buoy 2 to starboard. Head due south after keeping Inlet Harbor Red Buoy 2A to starboard, followed by 2B. After passing Inlet Harbor Red 4, run in the center of the channel between Disappearing Island to starboard and other partially submerged sandbars to port. Get timely local knowledge about constant shoal shifting in the area and learn adequate distances to keep away from buoys to avoid running aground. Turn to the east to go through Channel Markers Ponce de Leon Inlet Red Buoy 8B and Green Buoy 7B, then north towards the lighthouse and through buoys Red 8A and Green 7A, and finally Red 8 and Green 7. Turn to starboard to run parallel with the north jetty using that as your red mark to port with uncharted green buoys to starboard. To avoid snagging an abandoned fishing line in your prop, keep a reasonable distance from the jetty. Pass between Green Buoy 5 and Ponce de Leon Red Lighted Buoy 4 as you enter the ocean and consider Green Lighted Buoy 3 your end point. The lat long is 29 degrees 4.6 minutes north and 81 degrees 54.5 minutes west. To access the inlet from the south, Bear slightly starboard at the Ponce de Leon cut green over red junction buoy, and then keep Ponce de Leon inlet red lighted buoy 12 to port, followed by lighted green 11 to starboard. Pass the Coast Guard station Ponce de Leon inlet to starboard. Go between red 10 and green 9, and then follow the same route as boats coming from the north, through red 8 B and A, and green 7 B and A, and then east along the north jetty. To return after your ocean run, head towards the lighthouse from the sea buoys and retrace your course keeping the north jetty to your starboard side and green buoys to your south. Consider using your GPS course tracker to assist on your return. Then go between red 8 A and B and green 7 A and B, followed by bearing starboard to west if you are going north, or continue straight through red 10 and green 9 if you are going south. To go north, keep Inlet Harbor Red Buoys 4, 2B, 2A, and 2 to port, then Green 1 to starboard, but Ponce de Leon Cut Green Buoy 3 to port, and finally back to Cut Green 1. To go south, keep Ponce de Leon Inlet Green Lighted Buoy 11 to port, and then Red 12 to starboard, and return to the Ponce de Leon Cut Green and Red Junction Buoy. Crossing the Ponce de Leon Inlet should not be attempted in bad weather, or when an ebb current is opposed by onshore ocean swells with east to southeast winds over 15 knots. Otherwise, the inlet is relatively safe and easy to transit for cautious boat operators armed in advance with local knowledge from one of the local marinas.